So printf is a pretty handy function. You know, we can, let's say we have a double. And then we can print this double. So that will convert the double to a string and then we can print print it. So that's pretty useful, but sometimes we actually want to print or put this string into a string. So uh, for that, we can use sprintf. And then if we print the string, it will have the string we want. But of course, sprintf is like stir copy in that uh, the s is expected to be larger than the characters that are being written to it. And so what if we actually want to make sure that the S is actually large enough for the string? So uh, any printf function will return the number of characters written to it. So if we capture the return value and then we print it, we can see 21, which uh, this is 21 characters. But what we want is to actually get the number of characters without actually writing to anything. Which, uh, of course, this uh, doesn't work. So for C99 and POSIX2001, we have another function called SNPrintF, in which we have another argument here, N, which is the maximum length that we are going to write and in this function uh, well only for C99 and POSIX 2001 and up we have a special condition where if we pass null as the buffer and zero as the maximum length we're not actually printing uh, anything or we're not actually copying anything we're just parsing the string format and then getting the number of characters. So if we do this, we will get the number of characters uh, not including the null. And so what we can do is do the snprintf to get the length and I guess we should error check, you know, just in case snprintf fails for some reason. And then we, let's say we have a string, you know, let's say it, it has been allocated. With malloc or something. And then we can reallocate such that, you know, it has enough memory for the string plus one. And uh, s can we and then we can do the actual s printf. Now you would actually probably want to do vsn printf. You know if you're using it in a function to reuse the um, variadic arguments here. So you know, use this. Oh, and of course, you know, you'd probably want to check if, you know, the size is larger than the cap or something. But yeah, that's how that works. But again, there's a another standard, sasv2 or sasv3, I forgot, but it doesn't guarantee that this will work or it doesn't p specify the behavior of this in which case you actually need to parse the format string so uh, we're kind of reinventing printf <laughs> so yeah